guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mimi and I am so happy that you're here. Today I'm coming to you with a Lux Unfiltered haul. Um, if you don't know who this brand is, I follow an influencer on Instagram. I've been following her for, I wanna say maybe about six years at this point. Um, she, her name is Sivan, Sivan Ayla, I believe. I'm sorry, her, her middle name or last name, I, I, I can never pronounce, but her name is Sivan. Um, and she has this brand called Lux and Filter that is all body care um, and like home, like candles and stuff. I'll show you what I, what I purchased. Um, it's a newer brand. It's a small company. Um, she just started this a couple of years ago. She also has another, another um, line. It's called Shop Tan Lines. Um, so I'll, I'll have this particular one linked down below just so you guys can check it out if you're interested. But yeah, she has a pretty much kind of like a pop-up right now, I guess, in Century City Mall, which is in Santa Monica. And um, I went today with a girlfriend and it was just incredible. We got to meet her, um, we got to meet Paul. I had actually met them one time uh, before, I want to say maybe about two years ago, I met her two or three years ago, just randomly at a mall. She used to live in the San Fernando Valley. She now lives in San Diego. Um, but anyway, she has a pop-up for the holidays right now in Century Mall. And one of my girlfriends and I were like, hey, let's go to the pop-up, um, which was great. It was awesome. It was so awesome to meet her. Um, it was awesome to smell the products in person. I'm very sensitive to scent. Um, so I really, really wanted to place an order for almost everything, um, but I never did because I was never sure about the scent. Um, just like I said, I'm very sensitive to it. I, I get migraines really easily. So I was really happy that she had a pop-up and I was able to actually go and smell everything, which was great because I definitely did some damage, um, which I'll go into it and show you. Um, she has a couple of items um, that are like for tanning. I didn't purchase any of that just because I... I mean, I have color. I don't really need, um, I don't, I don't need a tan. So I didn't purchase anything in regards to the tanning, but I mean, her face drops for tanning are already like on Allure's bestsellers. Um, and nothing but great reviews on all of her products, to be honest. So out of everything I purchased, I think the one item I did not end up purchasing was basically like the shower oil. And that was just because I couldn't quite smell anything with the shower oil. I'm sure it's great and to be honest, I just kind of wish I would have just picked it up anyway because it really is the only thing I did not get. Um, like I said, aside from the tanning the tanning products, but so one thing I didn't get, kind of wish I had now, so I'm probably gonna end up just placing an order for it. Um, so we'll just get started. So I purchased two bags. <sighs> As you can see, I definitely did a little bit of damage. Um, I'll start with the smaller one. I just love, I love this bag. It's so nice. I love the simplicity of it, the color. Siwan did an amazing job with the color scheme with everything. Um, so I'll just get started and the tissue over there and I'm just going to pull items out and just kind of walk you through them. Um, so the first item we have here, this is the N14 Conditioning Body Cream. Um, this, all, all of her scents I want to say are very earthy. This is what the bottle looks like. Um, I believe Jacqueline Hill, um, I love Sarai, um, I, I believe that's how you say her name. They all rant and rave about this. Um, I tried it when I was there at the at the pop-up shop and I, I loved it. I, I thought it left your hands feeling so, so nice. Um, so I did get that. And I'm sorry I don't have prices. Um, I was supposed to get a text message with the receipt and for some reason I I never did. I never got it. So I don't, I don't know full prices, but like I said, I'll have her website or I'll have this website linked down below if you're interested in anything. So I did get the N14 conditioning cream. And then I also got, well, this was actually a free gift with purchase, but I was going to purchase this anyway. This is the N5 soothing lip balm. And right now my favorite lip balm is the summer Fridays, which I love, but I did want to try this one too. And look how cute like the details are. It has a little lip on there. And then this is what it looks like. I have not opened it yet, it's still packaged. Let me see if this has a scent actually. I don't know if it does. Um, you know what, it's, I'm not gonna be able to open it right now and I don't wanna make this video really long. So I'm just gonna push through. Um, so the N5 Soothing Lip Balm, like I said, that one was a free gift with purchase. And then I also purchased, which I was actually only going to be honest, to purchase these two. This was all I was going to get, and I ended up purchasing everything except the shower oil, which now I wish I got. 
Um, so this is the Luxe Unfiltered N28 Exfoliating Body Polish. And a lot of her scents are actually the Santal, Santal, scent, yeah, Santal, I believe that's how you say it, um, scent, very similar to that. Um, and as you can see, it comes with the packaging like this. And then it has a stopper, but the, it's very finely milled. Um, it it does it's it doesn't feel like it's abrasive, but this is so cute because it comes with a little scoop for you know for the exfoliation. So that's cute. I like that a lot. I'm actually really happy it came with the scoop because after I purchased, I was like, oh man, I hope I got the scoop too <laughs> because I thought that was so cute. Um, here is a flyer. Actually, this is for her. Oh, I didn't realize this. They gave me stickers. Oh my gosh, I totally did not know that they gave you stickers. How stinking cute. Oh, I can't wait to play with these. I'm gonna put these on my phone, I think. So cute. Um, anyway, this is her newest um, one. It's, she's, uh, she's a force of nature, Lux Unfiltered number 36. This is like a tanning mousse. Um, this was released today, I believe, or maybe a couple days ago, I'm not sure, but she was specifically there to like promote this one. Um, and she had like free gifts of gifts for purchase or like something in regards to this. But like I said, I didn't purchase anything for the tanning, but just so you guys see a photo and it, it'll be linked down below. Um, okay, moving on to the big bag. Let's get this out. Okay, so here we go. I got the N or number 44 cleansing hand wash. I was not gonna purchase this again, and I wasn't gonna purchase anything, but look at this bottle, my goodness. Oh, she did such a good job. So This looks so luxe, and it smells incredible. Oh, I cannot wait to put this in my bathroom. I cannot wait. I usually, I have like normal, um, hand soap dispensers that I just refill. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna probably just end up doing that with this because this is incredible. I'll probably just continue to order this to be honest because it smells so good. So that over and then I got here. Oh, she gave me two. I got two soothing balms. Oh, perfect. I got two soothing balms, which is great. And then I got the number 24 Reviving Hand Cream. This smells so good. This is also in the Centel scent. Um, I tried it while I was there in the pop-up and it was incredible. So here it is as well. Here's the coloring. She, I swear she went, she killed it with this. Um, and it comes with one of those little like, um, kind of like pins at the top because you have to puncture the top of it here. And again, the only thing I, I'm not a fan of, and it's just really across the board with any hand cream, is I just, I don't like when they use the um, this type of packaging, just because if you puncture one side, it just leaks everywhere. But you know what? A lot of hand creams, for some reason, that's what they like, and that's how they like to package it. So I just keep buying it. I'm really excited. I tried this at the store, loved it. It was really, really nice. Um, so here is the two or the main items that totally took me over budget, but I was so, so happy that I got to smell them. These are her candles. This is the number nine. This one is the number eight. And this one is the number seven. So here are the three candles and I'm gonna open them up and I am going to tell you what they each smell like. Um, I smelled these at the store and I was so shocked at how much I, I just loved it as how much they, they just smell so good. So this one is Nude Beach and the fragrance is Rose, uh, Geranium, Geranium, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, and Citron. And this is, how do I open this? I think I lift, oh, I guess I ripped the sticker. Okay. And again, the packaging, she she's just incredible with this packaging. The way she, oh, it's in there. Okay, and again, this one is number seven. Oh, I can't get it out. Is there like a special way to get it out? Oh, okay. It's just snug in there. So look at this. And they all look the same. The only difference is going to be the scent, obviously, and then the number on the front. This one's number seven. And this one really does smell like rose. But here's the thing, I actually am not a fan of any rose scents. Um, I'm just not a big fan of them. I, I just don't like the smell of rose. This smells like rose, 
but like your expensive rose. Like <laughs> I can't explain it, but it smells so good. The rose is not super overpowering. It's, it's really light. I'm hoping that when it burns, it burns the same way as it smells like this because sometimes I've noticed, especially with rose scents, and maybe it's just because I'm sensitive to rose, when I light a candle that smells like rose, it just, and it's maybe light in the container, when it's burning, it is not light. It is extremely strong. So I'm hoping that's not the case with this one, but I love the packaging. Packaging is incredible and smells so good. So that one is number seven. And now we're gonna go to number nine. Oh, I should probably have done them in order, but that's okay. Number nine, and this one is Nude Beach, and the fragrance is Neroli, Bergamot, and Basil. So, oh no, Nude Beach is the same, it says the same for all of them. So I think the names are just the numbers. So I'm saying Nude Beach, but I think Nude Beach is the collection. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, okay, so snug in there, which you know what, that, that's actually kind of nice because when you purchase this and it, if you can see that right in the center, this is all padding. So when you buy this online and it gets shipped to you, you don't have to worry about it breaking. That's awesome. Um, okay, so this one is number nine and the scent on this is, oh, I said it already. Sorry. Um, Neroli, Bergamot, and Basil. And this smells good. Everything just smells very earthy. You know what, this actually reminds me of, of the um, of the hotel in, in Bora Bora. Oh wow, that actually totally smells like it. And again, beautiful packaging, just the number nine on the front, that is the difference. And then we have the very last one, which is Nude Beach number eight. And this one is, the fragrance is Sandalwood, um, Amiris, Amiris, ooh, and Creamy Woods. Sorry if I said that wrong. I swear these names, I can never pronounce them. It's like I need that hooked on phonics thing to for it to like sound it out for me or something. Um, okay, so then this one is number eight, like I said, snug in there. And this one is, I think is my absolute favorite one. This one is a little bit more of a sweeter scent. Um, very much smells like something I'd be burning at a beach. This smells incredible. I love it, it smells so good. Um, so that's it. That's all I purchased. With all of this that I purchased, I want to say my total came out to about 284. So it is a little, it is a little bit higher priced, but to be honest, it's very luxurious. It feels luxurious. It looks luxurious. Um, and it leaves, at, I was able to test a couple of products there at the store and it leaves your skin feeling so, so nice. I'm really, really excited to put all of this stuff into my bathroom and just start using it. Um, again, Sivan did such an amazing job with just the colors and the fonts and she just did great. She did such an amazing job. It all looks and it feels so nice. I cannot wait to start playing with it. I'll have the website linked below if you want to check any of it out. Um, and right now in the month of December, she does have a pop-up out in um, Century City Mall if you want to go and and basically pick up some of the products and smell them yourselves. So um, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. And, you know, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I would love, love if you came back for the next video. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye.